Floridians are rushing to make last minute preparations and evacuate ahead of Hurricane Milton's expected arrival on Florida's West Coast tonight. Fox's Rebecca Kester has more from Tampa. Rebecca, how are things now? Hey, Courtney, well, we are bracing for a rough night. Um, I'm going to step out of the way so you guys can see the conditions that are outside here. We're undercover, but out there, the rain and the wind is ramping up here, and it's going to get worse as we get closer to Milton's landfall. And honestly, at this point, time has run out for people to prepare. I urge everyone in Hurricane Milton's path to follow all safety instructions. Milton is coming, and President Biden says the feds are ready. The president and vice president were briefed on Wednesday at the White House as FEMA ramps up its preparations. We have made available an unprecedented number of assets to deal with this crisis. We're going to continue to do so until the job is done. You can see here hurricane hunters getting a bumpy ride as they track the storm. Milton is expected to make landfall late Wednesday or early Thursday, but the effects are already being felt. The outer bands are bringing rain and high winds to some areas, and at least one tornado was reported in South Florida. We expect conditions to continue to deteriorate throughout this afternoon, so you all should be somewhere safe by now. But if you're not, you need to get there now. Thousands are now under evacuation orders, but some are choosing to stay. You just go out there and camp out somewhere and ride it out or choose to stay and try to do the best you can. But most are following guidelines from local officials. There are shelters and temporary housing set up from Florida to the Carolinas. Hotels are booked solid with homeowners watching and waiting to see what happens. It's not scary right now. It's scary thinking about what we're going to find when we go back. There are four bridges that cross the Tampa Bay. All of them are now closed. But again, most people did leave. And Tampa's mayor says this is the largest evacuation of the area that she's ever seen. I'll send it back to you guys in Atlanta. Yeah, it definitely looks like things are picking up down there. Rebecca, thanks. You can depend on Fox 5 both online and uh, on the air for continuing coverage of Hurricane Milton. Our live stream and Fox Local will be dedicated to hurricane coverage. We will, of course, have the latest on Fox 5 News tonight at 10.